face. Gde čački snovi se ostvaraju? Kućina šta je ovo tijelo? Vreme je za najzabavniji deo, a to je obuka. Sada počujemo nešto kako koristiti aim point ove crvene tačke. Ok, welcome to the training part. My name is Holgo and I'm one of the trainers at aim point. I will give you our aim points philosophy of how the sights is supposed to be used. Uh, I'm not saying that it's, uh, you know, the truth from the Almighty. Uh, it's just uh, our way of uh, using the site. The aim point site is uh, designed for fast shooting uh, on moving targets. And that's the whole idea about the site. Uh, you don't need to close if you're a right-hand shooter, you don't need to close the left eye because that uh, red dot will be... Uh, uh, so uh, it, it will suck your eye into the, to the red dot. So you don't need to close your left eye. Uh, and you know, shooting with your both eyes open gives you a greater field of view. So uh, that's always a recommendation. Shoot both eyes open. When I was uh, told uh, uh, how to shoot, like in uh, 30 years ago, when I was like a small boy, I was told to, uh, I was uh, shooting with open steel sights. I was told to, uh, you know, have a good shooting position. Uh, I should breathe, then I should take a full breath let one third of the breath out and just try, try to keep the rifle or the handgun as still as possible and aim for the target and then kind of squeeze off the trigger. Yeah. And if you do that, even with the red dot, what will happen to everyone? Start aiming. Start aiming and 
a bit of shake, right? So what's actually happened is that if I'm aiming for this circle, I place my red dot, I have a, you know, nice bit of air in my lungs, I hold my breath, and then I place my red dot, and then I start chasing the middle, and then, you know, I think everyone is recognizing it. The red dot starts moving, and after like seven, 10 seconds, it's getting harder, but you still want to hit the, the middle, and then you like do a high five with yourself, bam. Jerking the trigger, bam. Yeah, so it takes time. Uh, of course, it can be done with a lot of training, but uh, instead we try to manufacture a hit by uh, using the movement. So if your gun is on the move, you will have a much smoother movement. You won't shake if you move the gun upwards or in sideways, it doesn't really matter. That, that movement will be smooth. <clears throat> so, in order to manufacture that hit on a target that stands still, we will talk about a contact point and a focus point. And that focus point can be related to uh, to an animal or to uh, like an IPSC target, a zone or something, everything. So I bring up my gun to that contact point, and then I lift the weapon. And when my red dot is entering that focus point, or uh, as we uh, used to uh, mention in, in hunting, uh, the hunting business, this kill zone, when it enters the kill zone, you squeeze off the round and uh, you will have a good hit. And don't start to, to chase the perfect hit in this uh, target area or kill zone because this is the, anywhere in this area, this pig will die. Then bring up the red dot, focus on the target zone, and imagine squeezing a round off. Uh, and you should do the movement slow. You bring up your gun to that contact point. You focus in the kill zone. You bring up your weapon with your red dot, and when you're entering that kill zone, you squeeze off the gun. And stay focused on the target. And now the kill zone, you know, it's big. So don't hesitate. The decision to take the shot should be done when you're in the contact. So when you're lifting your gun, bringing the red dot into the kill zone, we already have made the decision of taking the shot and uh, it will be a perfectly good hit. So that was the basic, most important thing, both eyes open and stay focused on the target. One thing that he uh, studied a few years ago with a very good result was biathlon uh, shooters uh, going on skis having very high pulse, very uh, big breathing frequency, and still able to uh, line up that uh, diopter site they have and uh, square good uh, hits. Then I should have a neutral shooting position. And a very good uh, way of controlling this is to do the breathing. When I breathe, I want that red dot to move up and down. That's when I can have a use for the breathing, uh, even to create the, the, the hit. And it takes some uh, practice. 
if you just pick a target anywhere and breathe in and breathe out, it should go up and down. But if you're having a bad shooting position, it won't go up and down. So this is my neutral. If I'm standing like this, I move my left feet, foot, and now I'm breathing. And my red dot will start wandering to the left. And it's the same if I putting the left foot too much to the right, the red dot will wander off. So it should go up and down. Shooting a moving target, as I told you, we use the same principle. Turn our contact up in the target, catch the speed of the target, bring your gun to the kill zone, and squeeze the trigger. Don't stop the movement, just continuing the movement. <clears throat> the philosophy is very much like shooting a, a clay. Uh, I create a contact point somewhere in the target. I read the target, you know the information I need, speed, direction, and of course, if it's, uh, if it's shootable, if it's the game you're hunting or if it's something else, then I move my red dot in to the kill zone and squeeze off the round. Don't stop the movement, just follow through. My ex the experience where I need to lean on the target. To be good at that, you have you have to train. Where do do uh, do I need to to hold on the target to hit with with uh, with my rifle and my sight? So that takes a bit of training. Kod svakog pucanja naravno vežbanje na suvo osnova i početak kako doći do vrhunskih rezultata. Mi smo sad imali kratak trening, a nastavljamo dalje unutra gdje ćemo pucati sa, sa bojevom municijom, pa da ćemo, da ćemo primjenjivati ovo što smo naučili sad u ovom kratkom periodu. Ovo je restoran štara u strelištu. Lagani ručak, pa nastavljamo dalje. Kad smo na strelištu, mora biti divljač. Mounting uh, sights on a rifle. It's, it's basically uh, the same. Uh, there is a recoil lug underneath our uh, the different attachments. Uh, so when you're putting the sight on, you push it forward and lock it. Send down this target to uh, 50 meters and uh, zero it for 50. Uh, there are information on the sheet to uh, do different distances, 100 meters or 25. Uh, And now we are at 50 meters, so one click will move uh, one square in, in uh, 50 meters. So uh, if we have an average, it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. Mm -hmm.
do the mounting process. Pushing it forward as we uh, did when we, uh, when we attach it the first time. Lock the lever on. And it's keeping the zero. Uh, we will shoot at uh, those paper targets, and then uh, later on we will shoot on. The one I risked, huh? And if you if you want to change gun, it's just yeah, it's okay. you just pick it. If you have any, so uh, you can just load and make ready, and then three rounds in your own uh, pace. Na 17 metara poginulo bi. Okay. Uh, the mine should should work quick then you will be quick with a fast with a with a gun also. Uh, but when you lift it from your contact point into the kill zone the decision of the shot should be taken. So as soon as you got your red dot in that area just send it. U suštini, ceo koncept ne zasniva na preciznosti, već na instiktivnom pucu. Jer ovdje da li je grupa ovolička ili grupa ovolika, ovo je sve zona smrti i divljač kad se pogodi u tu tačku. Let's do a patching. I don't know. Good shooting. I don't know. Ne tako što mi je prizne na dio, ali nisam vidio. Dobro, taj ću kruku. Muscle work, and then uh, you can try to combine it with the breathing. So uh, breathing all the time and firing on the. We can put the uh, tika back in there. In the level. Okay, load and make ready. Fire permission. Yeah. 
Vlastno, isto smo pukli, pogledaj ovo. Pogledaj, identičan, identičan promaš. Because you are older, and life is ahead of me, you will shoot first. <laughs> Front of the kill so we can, we, we can start to try. Just... Do we get a... <laughs> so here it is. Yeah. That's one. Pig. That's a very dead pig. We try again. Told you so. <laughs> oh. Shoot it in the head. Almost in take for A bit too much in front. Yes, yep. And we try again. Ah. Uh. Oh. Very good. Guys, now we just focus on the camera. Ah. Huh. Uh, this That's will, dead. This will be actual shot. You ready? <laughs> They're coming from there. Sad prelazimo na lovačke puške. Yes, you can put it on one. It's not a problem. The longest one. By the overlap, that's where you want to have the bread up. On a semi-auto, you just have to make sure that the one barrel hits. So you do the same bore siding like here. And then you can take a test shot at 30 meters if you want. And we say 30 meters. So I think we start with the C, which is the rabbit. Ah. He was shooting last time, but he didn't press the shot cam. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, yes. Cool. Here it comes. Oh, no clay. Here it comes. Very good. Cool. <laughs> Very nice. Cool. 
Very nice. Pull. Suštini dobar deo smo završili. Idemo sad unutra da pucamo sa Six Hourom polutomatom. I just want to take the time to say a big thank you to all of you for coming and spending a whole day uh, with us. We appreciate it a lot and we know you are busy and you have a lot of brands that you sell. So we are always very thankful when people decide to come and spend a whole day with Aimpoint. Uh, we try to uh, teach you a bit, as Holger said in the beginning. Uh, this is uh, the Aimpoint way of shooting. This is the way we think is uh, the best way to use our products. We know there's a lot of experienced sport shooters and hunters. And for us, the most important thing is just that if you learned one or two things that you can apply to your own uh, shooting technique, then we are very happy. Or at least that you just learned something new, then we achieve the goal with the day. Um, so a big thank you from our side. I hope you learned a bit. If there's any questions you have, you can, of course, uh, always ask me. Uh, other than that, I want to wish you a safe uh, trip back home. And um, yeah, have a nice rest of the week. And thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice.